Good morning, warriors of God. Derek Lynn, we pray for America and time spent with the word. Spirit of truth, come and help us now. As we open our mouths to speak, Lord God, let the truth of your word come to fruition. May the gifts of prophecies, O oh God, be in operation. May the gifts of miracle be in operation, God. May the gifts, O oh God, of my sondo of tongues be in operation. May the gifts of healing be in operation right now that someone needs a miraculous healing touch from you, O oh God. May healing take place right now. Someone is depressed right now, Father God, because of what news they have received. I bind the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus Christ, and I lose freedom from depression. I am my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of depression, go in Jesus Christ's name. Obey the voice of the word of God through his daughter right now. Spirit of depression, I bind you. Get out in Jesus' name. And I lose freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who I just feel, I just, who that just got lifted. Whoever that was. My God, my God, dealing with depression. It is lifted now. Hiya. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. May the gift of faith be in operation right now, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High God. Amen. The I am that I am, the was, the is, and the is to come. In prayer this morning, I'm going to speak prophetically from one of the prophets of the Bible, Amos. And what I believe the Lord gave him then, something was revealed to me as I was reading it. Actually, it was confirmed as to what he has given me prior. In the book of Amos, chapter number nine, verse nine. Isn't that interesting? Nine, nine, he says, whoo, glory to God. He says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel. He's going to sift the house. Mm. Wow. He's going to sift the house of representative. He's going to sift the Congress. The Lord is going to sift the house. There's going to be people literally leaving, packing up their things, taking artifacts down, taking photographs down, taking flags down, removing their personal belongings from the house. They're going to be leaving the house. I'm talking about America's house. They're going to be leaving the house. I'm speaking of America's house. And I see, mm -hmm. People literally having to leave the house. They are leaving the house. And it sounds like the house of representative. And as I'm praying, I'm also seeing the White House. People are leaving. They are leaving. They are taking their personal items out. And it's happening. It's happening now. They are leaving. They are leaving. They are leaving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then the scripture says, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. God is doing sifting. The Lord God Almighty, he is sifting. He's sifting his church. He's sifting his body and he's removing the lungs. He is removing the obstacles. He's removing the hindrances. My God. Mm. The things that have hindered his people from getting closer to him. He is removing those things. I see that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is removing those things. And he is also removing. The Lord is removing leaders. I see leaders being removed in the body of Christ. In the church, leaders are being removed. Those who was once leaders. My God. I hear leaders are being removed. Mm -hmm. There has been a lot of lumps in the church and the Lord is sifting. There is a sifting coming. There is a sifting, sifting. Look for the sifting because I see it taking place even as I'm speaking. And this word sift has been given to me for the last couple of days. And then the Lord confirmed it on this morning while in fervent prayer that he's sifting. And he's going to be sifting. My God, he is sifting and he's going to be sifting. So it's like a, a double sifting. Come on, Holy Ghost. A double sifting. So there is a sift 
and then he is sifting, and sifting is present tense. That means it's happening now, it's happening now. And the lumps are being throwing out. So watch for the lumps to be throwing out. Oh God, yes, Holy Ghost, thank you for that. And there, there are some who have received news from the doctors of lumps in the breast, or lumps in the body, whatever, wherever the lumps are. I speak against those lumps in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I bring a divine sifter and I sift out those lumps and I throw them out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I believe unctioning and functioning through me right now. I sift out the lumps out of the breast and I command the lumps to go. I curse the lumps at their core in the name of Jesus Christ. And I, I command the lumps to disappear now in the mighty name of Jesus. You go back to that doctor, Makarana Kushkati Asata. And where the lumps once was, there will be no lumps in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. By the power and the authority in that name, the lumps are gone. The lumps are disappeared. Thyroid, I pray against that in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you, Thyroid. I command you to lose your hold and not lose complete healing and wholeness. I bind every lump in the breast. I bind every lump in the throat. I bind every terminal cancer. In Jesus' name, I bind every prostrate cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I bind every bone cancer and I curse it at its core in Jesus' name. And I command it to loose its hold in Jesus' name. And I loose the complete healing power and the healing virtue of God. Now, Lord, as I bind these things and I loose the healing, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Because when you cast out a demon, those demons, they get upset, they go out, and they go looking for places that they can abide in. And if they don't find a place to abide in, they come back to the house where they was once cast out of, and they found the house cleaned up, they go and gather more. But you see, that's not going to be the case with us, because we bind them in Jesus' name. We lose the freedom, the healing in the bodies in Jesus' name, and then we cover ourselves. That's it. We cover ourselves with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Watch for the house. Watch for the house to be sifted. Watch for the artifacts to come down. Watch for the personal belongings to be taken out. I'm telling you, watch America's house. There's gonna be the, the <laughs> They are removing things. They're packing up their things and they're leaving. They don't want nobody to know this. They're trying to do it in silence, but it shall be made known. Because the house is being sifted. Watch for that. Now, Lord, I thank you. You promised to watch over your word to perform it. And I believe you would, you would do just that. And so, Spirit of Truth, I thank you for helping me with the truth. We test the spirit with the spirit to ensure that the spirit that we are speaking of, my God, up under. And the function that we are functioning from the unction of the Holy Spirit is the spirit of the Most High and the spirit of the true living God. We thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for the work you have begun in us, you shall complete. We thank you that we can do anything. We can bind and we can loose and we can see. The manifestation of the words that we speak. We speak life. We speak health. We speak prosperity. We speak provision. We speak divine protection. And we speak promotion. Spiritual promotion and physical promotion for the glory of your name. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. All right, then, warriors. Well, we're going to bring this to a close. You have yourself a wonderful, blessed day. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Hallelujah. Armor up and stay armor up. Amen.